An emotional night in Stoughton, the community mourning the loss of four teenagers killed in a car crash. That crowd tonight remembered these boys as student athletes and the best of friends. Thanks for joining us. I'm Lisa Hughes. And I'm David Wade. Tonight, the driver of the car is hospitalized in critical condition. Louisa Moeller is in Stoughton and says it is a heart-wrenching time for everyone in that town. Close to 500 people pack this church tonight, the beginning of a long healing process. Members of the Stoughton community filed into St. James Catholic Church, hoping an hour together can mend a gaping wound. A lot of crying, a lot of sadness, tears. One is such a tragedy. Four is almost unimaginable. It is so hard for us to wrap our heads around this. On Saturday, four Stoughton high schoolers were killed when their car slammed into a tree in East Bridgewater. Eric Sarbla, Nick Joyce, David Bell, and Christopher Desir, remembered by classmates and coaches as active and athletic. Music, prayer, and reflection used to combat their grief. There was a young woman who was singing, and it brought me to tears. I know it brought a lot of other people to tears, and the students have put that together. And it was very beautiful. Nick Joyce was a track star. His room decorated with medals and his running shoes. But his family says it was his powerful positivity that shined. Just to keep his, his spirit alive, I mean, he was full of life. Dear memories that point out to the people of Stoughton just how precious life is. Every moment is a gift. Treat it like that. The cause of Saturday's crash is still under investigation. In Stoughton, Louisa Moeller. WBZ News. Louisa, thank you. This story.